Seven Magic Shapes, a first grade activity. Seven Magic Shapes is a geometry activity that composes two dimensional shapes to create a composite shape using rectangles, squares, trapezoids, and triangles. Seven Magic Shape comes with math terms. There is flip to create a mirror image or reflection to turn over, rotate to turn an object, and slide to move an item in any direction without rotating. The supplies that are provided in the pouch along with the instruction sheet and um, information card will be tanagrams, and these are the different shapes that make up a tanagram, and there'll be four different type colors of tanagrams, as well as First start out with your tanagram and have the students identify different shapes in it. To begin with, we'll start with triangles, having the students identify which of those shapes in the tanagram are triangles. Then you can go from there to squares or rectangle. A square can also be called a rectangle. It's just a special kind of uh, rectangle that has four equal sides and four right angles. And then you can talk about the last shape, which is a rhombus or a parallelogram. And you can talk about the definitions of each of those, um, having an object that has parallel sides, but not all sides are the same. From there, the students can create, select a card, and then try to create that shape. While they're creating it, talk about the terms, math terms that we discussed, such as rotate, slide, they can slide the square over and flipping and rotating and rotating again and doing what they can to create the cat. In this case, they're going to flip that tail over and check to see that the image that they created with the tanagrams is as close as they could possibly get to the image on the card. From there, the students can create the other shapes. There's a duck, a rabbit, a cat, a candle, swan, house. Some guided questions to help promote critical thinking would be what three shapes make up a tanagram? Out of the seven magic shape cards, which was the easiest to create? Which one was the hardest? And what other shapes can you create with these tanagrams? And have them explore different shapes that they can make.